Welcome back to my channel. So I have finally decided to do a voiceover this time and I hope that my English is sufficient enough for you guys to understand me because this is not my primary language so let's get started. Today we are going to make a forest fairy. I guess this is going to be an original character which I very seldom do. That's because I am not that good at character design but I am learning. It's a learning process. Okay, the victim today will be this Draco Laura. As you can see, she has been through a lot. Let's prep her. First, we're going to disconnect the head by heating it up with a hairdryer. Or you can immerse her in hot boiling water. That will work as well. And we are going to replace this head with an ever after high head. I have already shrunk the head using acetone as you can see here. But you can skip this part because it's not really that necessary. I just want my fairy to be more proportionate. I have also trimmed the top part of the neck pack and sanded it off to make them smaller so that the shrunken head can fit later on. And I also sanded off her neck and the rest of her body to get rid of all the seams because I'm gonna do some color changing later on. Okay, so now we are going to reconnect the head to the body and to do this, we will heat up the head again until it becomes squishy so that the body will be easier to fit into the head. Moving on to the outfit, I am using this white linen and this white chiffon, I think, which I ended up not using in the end. You'll see why in a minute. And also this blue ribbon. I am going to edge all the fabrics that I'm gonna use, so I soak the fabrics in hot tea and left them for several hours to set. And it didn't work. The color is not the color that I want, especially the chiffon. So I soaked them again in coffee off camera but ended up regretting it later because the smell of the coffee stain after it dries it kind of smelled like a public toilet, the dirty one. <laughs> Next, I'm going to cut them into random shapes and distressing it using a wire brush. I decided not to use the chiffon fabric but instead I'll be using this grey fabric from my old t-shirt. For the ribbon, I cut them into jagged shapes and distort the shapes further with heat.
Next, I will gather all of the ribbon to form the top layer of the skirt. On top of the two other layers of the fabrics that I distressed just now. Next, I'm making the waistband out of the same fabric, the linen fabric, and attach them to the skirt. I'm going to make her a pair of socks out of this fabric that I used on Chucky before in my previous projects. The steps to make socks are very simple. You just have to wrap the fabric around the leg and sew along the lines. Next, we are going to make a corset out of wool block. To do this, I'm going to heat it up and then stretch it a bit so that it's not going to be too thick. And wrap it around the doll and sculpt it as you see fit. Then pry it open, release it from the door, and cut it into shapes. I am going to be adding some texture to the corset that we just made out of these fibers, and we are going to apply them using the papier mache method. Now we are going to paint the corset using green acrylic. We are also going to do some dry brushing using yellow acrylics, but I covered them up using blue color in the end because the yellow kind of make it look like a tree for some reason and I don't want that. And now let's decorate them with moss so that it's going to look more foresty. <laughs> Moving on to the wings, I designed these wings using Procreate, print them out on paper and then I cut them out using my exacto knife.
Next, we will attach some wire to the wings so that we can easily bend them into shapes later on. And to do this, shape the wire or align the wire along the wings, clip it in place and glue them on. In my case, I am using some UV resin for this. Next, we are going to do some embossing on the wings. I have never done this before, so this is my first time. This will give some detail to the wing so that it won't look too plain. cover up the entire wings using some varnish or in my case here I am using UV resin. I actually learned how to do this to make these kind of wings by watching a lot of YouTube videos. So this is not entirely my idea. For the detail, we are going to add this tiny branch. I made this out of the same wire and we are going to cover it with some moss later on.
also going to add some details on the wings using the same moss and also some flocks that I made out of yarn. And we are going to connect everything together by twisting all the wires together and wrap them up with some tape or in my case this is actually used for flower making and the wing is done. Next we are going to make a hole at the back of the doll's body the same size as the wire on the wings that we just made earlier. Moving on to the vessel, we are going to clean up her factory repaint face using pure acetone and then wash them using some soapy water. After it dries, we are going to seal them using Mr. Super Clear so that the color that we are going to use is going to stick on the doll. I'm going to change her skin color using some pan pastel. And then we will start drawing on her face starting from the sclera using some white watercolor pencils. For the face up, she is going to receive a very minimal looking face up uh, using some neutral colors. So I'm going to give her some natural look. Keep adding layers to the face up uh, and seal them with Mr. Super Clear in between. And by doing this, we will eventually reach the opacity that we want.
use watercolors when I want to achieve very small details like the eyebrows and also the eyelashes. We're going to add some catch light on her eyes and the face up is done. Now for the body, we're going to do some color changing to match it to the head and also some blushing with an pastel. I colored the hair using human hair dye in orange color, turned them into webs using glue, and attached them to the head. I'm not going to show how I made the hair webs here, but I did have a video for this tutorial in my Reiko Chan video. I have included the link in the description section below, so go and check them out. Our forest fairy is complete. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.